one. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of things I picked up from a couple of stores over the weekend, ranging from Target to a little Japanese store in Burbank called Nico. Nico Nico. Nico, I don't know. So <laughs> let's get started. So this is from Nico Nico. So it is basically, like I said, a Japanese store in Burbank, California. And it's a really cool store because it has all these Japanese related items. If you're a big fan of the app Tariba, it's a claw game online app where you get to control a claw machine from all the way in Japan from anywhere around the world. So I am addicted to that app, but since I've gone into Funko Pop collecting, I'm trying to spend more towards my Funko Pops than the actual app because you do have to make in-store purchases of credits in order to play the claw machines, but they do have a bunch of plushies in that Burbank store. So if you want to grab stuff that you can't get on Tariba, you can go head to that store. And they also have two little kind of like macaroon claw machines. I want to just call them that because they're really tiny and the claws are like super, super tiny too. And when we went the last time or this past weekend where um, they had actual like little tiny macaroons shaped animals as well as some like bunny bananas. And I almost snagged a banana, but it slipped out and fell back into the machine. And they have like a bunch of like stationary stuff. They do have mystery boxes, but the best thing of all is they have a Kuji. So they made their own kind of Japanese lottery, aka Kuji. And it's currently um, Relicuma and it's been Relicuma for I think the past months or so. So it's pretty neat. And I decided to get two tickets because um, I really wanted either A, B, or C, which are plushies or pillows. But unfortunately, we didn't score those. Um, I ended up getting D, which is this cute Rylakuma basket. So I do have an orange version, so I'm glad that I got a pink one. I do like storing items in here. My other basket has some stuff that... I was preparing for ring trades or stuff to sell on eBay. So yeah, these baskets are nifty. And then my boyfriend actually got I, and it's actually this mystery figure. And it's also Riley Kuma themed. So these are the options that um, you can get. And we do have this one already. I'll quickly grab it. This one already that my boyfriend, he actually got I um, the last time too. So this is the one I have. And then for this box, it actually feels a lot heavier. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up getting um, something different. Sorry, my camera is having a hard time focusing. So I'm going to quickly open it because I do have a bunch of other stuff that I want to show you guys in this video. And yes, it's one of the ones that I actually wanted. So this is... Um, Rila the Kuma. I don't know if it's actually Rila the Kuma or some other version because I know there's like three different bears. I think there's like the light cream one, then there's a the dark one, and then there's the actual tan one. That's Rila the Kuma, and then I forgot what the little chicken's name is, but yeah. Anyways, so this figure is really cute. It's really um, heavy for its size. And I just love the little details. So here, I'm just going to say Rala Kuma. I don't know. Um, on, in the comments, if you know the actual name of this or if it is actually a Rala Kuma, just comment down below. So he is in attire and he is wearing a panda outfit. Because they're just regular bears. So yeah, super cute. So that's exciting. I think I'm going to go purchase more tickets or hopefully wait until they change out the lottery because that would be pretty cool. Then the next items are from Hot Topic. So the first thing is this cool metal figure that's exclusive to Hot Topic. I don't know if they have a Sally version, but I did get um, small um, uh, metal figures of these of Jack and Sally from um, actually Walgreens. So he's Pretty cool being able to see this one. Again, I don't know if it has Sally. I know for the metal figures that I got from, what's it called? Walgreens. They actually showed on the back, Jack and Sally. But on this one, it just shows kind of like a silhouette of zero. And he's like shiny. 
So yeah, I think it's just Jack because I really didn't see um, any Sally's. There was three Jacks and no Sally's. So I'm assuming it's just Jack. But yeah, Jack Skellington is my favorite character. And um, Night Before Christmas is my favorite movie. So it was pretty exciting finding this figure. And I did have some hot cash to spend. So I, I did have $10 off of my whole purchase. So it was really exciting being able to snag this one. I'm going to have to figure out how to stack him with my other figures. So yeah. And he's actually pretty heavy. Um, I'm pretty sure if I were to take him out of the box, he would still be heavy. Like I'm pretty sure this box weighs nothing. Um, if you take out Jack. So yeah, pretty cool. And then next item that I got was a mystery box. So I am collecting these figures um, unintentionally. I mean, I bought one before when it was just like regular price. But then once these um, became on sale, they went from, I think they were, yeah. So they were $15.90 and now they're $7. So anytime I see them, I snag them. I only got one repeat. I did get this guy twice already. He was the first one that I got. And then um, in my other video where I actually filmed um, in an Airbnb that I stayed at in San Jose for my birthday weekend, I actually got him again. And I forgot who else I got. But this one feels different from the others because it feels a little bit fuller and a little bit heavier than the other one. So I'm hoping for a different one. So yeah, I'm really into, if you haven't noticed, I'm really into like Halloween related stuff and it kind of helps that my birthday is in October and then it also explains my obsession with Night Before Christmas, Jack, Jack Skellington and all that jazz. Anyways, on to opening this figure. Yes, we did get someone different. Exciting. Ooh, and he is really heavy. Okay, so when you're opening these packs... Um, I want to say they're from Kid Robot. Yeah, they're from Kid Robot and sometimes the packs do come with accessories. So for this one in particular, it did come with two accessories. And here is a figure. This is our witch. And she is... Yeah, sorry. I thought she was um, the variant, but she's not. So I think she, there's another version of her that's 1 out of 96, but this version of her is 2 out of 24. So she's, I guess like, considered a common. So I'm going to take out her little cloud and her broomstick. So wanna, I guess she sits on the cloud? I'm not too sure. So, okay, maybe, actually, I don't, oh, oh, okay, wait, 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 I think she sits on the, oh, she sits on the broom, oh, that's so cool, okay, let me figure this out, I'm so slow right now, okay, it's like, how the heck? Oh, that's so freaking cool. Okay. Okay, so I actually do love this figure. So yeah, here she is. And she is sitting on her broom. <laughs> it's, it still looks like she's like kind of like standing on her broom. Just the way that she's like positioned. But it's so cute. And I love it. Because I love the color purple. It's not showing up too well on my camera, but... Yes, so cute. I'm glad that I got someone different. So I think I have one, two, three, four, five. I think I have like five. I want to say I have five. But I really wanted this one he, because like he's in a pumpkin and he's like vomiting up the pumpkin guts so yeah that's the one that I'm looking for but we'll see now that they're not selling them anymore I'm kind of sad that I didn't get a full set anyways moving on so ignore the target bag um because these aren't from target but 
I wonder if they were sold at Target. But anyways, so these are Night Before Christmas um, series of cars that are from, sorry, totally spaced out, from Hot Wheels. And they do have eight in the collection. So we actually grabbed these at a Toy City that was connected to a Halloween City. So I guess that's like the spinoff version of um, the Halloween Spirit Stores. So we did get um, the Mare, and we did get Zero, and they were $149 each. And this one is called Cool One, and this one is called Quick and Sick. Yeah, Quick and Sick. Yeah, so there's A in the series, and Zero's box is actually a little, like, bent, if you can see that. Yeah. So when we talked to the guy, they said that they usually get um, restocks each day, but they're not sure what. And if they do get restocks, they only get a little quantity because they are um, just a seasonal store because Toy City is connected to the Halloween City or whatever it was called. So once Halloween City is um, done with for the Halloween season, then that means Toy City will be gone too. And it was really cool because Toy City actually was set up um, in an old Toys R Us store along with the Halloween um, Halloween store. So it's fun seeing like all these different toys and even more that beyond like what Toys R Us had to offer, especially when it came to mystery packs, like the temptation to buy new mystery packs that I haven't seen before was very overwhelming. And they did offer a bunch of Funko Pops, especially a lot related to the Harry Potter series, but I didn't end up getting any Funko Pops from there, but these two. So I plan on returning sometime this week or soon before the Halloween season ends and hopefully snagging the whole collection and maybe getting a better zero and actually now that I'm looking at it um the mayor also has some creases too but yeah really excited at least we snagged these two and whether or not we get duplicates of these two we're glad that we have at least two out of the eight that we need and then within this target bag is some Lush products. So, yeah, I'm, I really love the products from Lush. And I really wanted to try um, this. They're actually coming out with their holiday stuff already. I know it's not even Halloween. I love Halloween. But I wanted to grab this because it was cheap. It was like $8 or $9 for this big pack. And basically, this is kind of like, um, it's, um, it's called Festive um, Friends. And this is just kind of like molding, like molding of their bubble bar. So you can make your own kind of characters that are Christmas themed or any other creation that you want to make. But I'm not going to make anything with these. I don't plan on like playing it with, as Play-Doh. I just want to get like bits and pieces and mix it in with my bath bombs that I do get from Fragrant Jewels. So I'm excited to use these. And then I also got... Um, like a face cleanser so I'm again trying let the good times roll so I have tried it before um, it's for a dry skin because my skin goes through these seasons of dryness and then to like oiliness so now my skin is in dry dry mode especially like on my nose so these are good cleansers to use and again if you um, use these pots like get the products with the pots and then you get five of these and you clean them really well. Um, make sure to turn them in because you do get a free face mask and that's pretty cool. I've tried one of their face masks already and um, it's actually two, I guess. One was like kind of like a coffee scrub, like coffee mask, and then you scrub it off after 15 minutes. And the other one was, I forgot what it was, but it was like really blue and it made you look kind of like an alien, but it was really good for the skin and smells really good too. So anyways, talking much, I really only have one more item left, but I'm going to unbox it in a different video, but I do want to show you as a quick preview. What's the Fuggler? And I got it from Target. So I'm really excited because this is one of the other two that I wanted. So I do have a Fuggler already. I have a purple one and they're so cute. They have like human teeth and like little claws. And I was excited for this one because it looks like a sloth. And I don't know, lately I've been really obsessed with sloths, especially the ones I've seen on Tereba. Like I have this sloth 
right here. And then I have another sloth like buried underneath my plushies. But yeah, I really love slots and I also like wombats um, that are like native to Australia. Yeah, really random other than like liking dogs and now being fond of like cats too. But anyways, so that's all that I have. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like or click the like button and also subscribe to my channel for um, more videos like this. I mostly do mystery boxes of like the tiny figures like the ones I've shown you or um, also like Funko Pop mystery boxes as well. I'm planning to get some more soon in the mail as well as investing in some especially from Toy USA. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. So again, thanks for watching. I know it's a little bit long for this video, but I do appreciate all of you for staying till the end. So again, thank you for watching and bye.